did a bit of aquaponicking during the week. I'm just finishing off the top of the grow the grow bed for the start of the system. I have um, thank you, Mayor. I have a bulkhead fitting down in here, which I bought from an irrigation shop. Um, and I have a one inch threaded fitting that goes inside the bulkhead and takes a one inch pipe. The stand pipe height, that will actually have some plumbing tape put on it before it gets put into place just to make it easier to screw in and out. These things tend to lock up I was told. So the whole the height of the stand is together 27 centimeters or 270 mil. The 65 mil pipe and the height of that is 300 mil or 30 centimeters or one foot as you can see. Um, and I have a 100 millimeter pipe as the shroud to go over the top and a nice little pretty pattern of holes and that one I cut off at 400 mil or 40 centimeters. The lid has been screwed on and silicon added just for some extra protection. So, oh, and on the side here we have, I left a piece of tape there when we painted just so we can see the fill marks. There's one on each corner, diagonal opposites. Uh, the paint not sticking too well but it'll do the job for now we might end up putting a timber cover on it so I'll show you the next bit of what we're doing right we've arranged the bars on here so because of two different types we're able to use them in different ways uh, to hold the bottom of the bed in as you can see these larger ones uh, the ring in bars they're going to support the outside whereas the bars that came with this IBC will support the inside so that'll help with the um, stone that we're going to use. We've got some excess stone from where we sank in the other sump. Uh, where we sank in the sump, sorry. So this bed will be filled with those guys hopefully this afternoon or tomorrow and we'll give it all a test run. So just running some tape onto this fitting here. It's been suggested to me that the PVC two tie styles of um, fittings tend to lock together. Different plastics weld together a bit. So been suggested we run some plumbing tape on there. So that's just for the um, siphon outlet into the tank. And we'll decide which way that's going to run. And we have the outlet which is all just pushed together, no glue used here at all. So we'll go and put this on there now. Mayor would so kindly give me a hand. I painted the IBCs, tried to get away with it nice and easily, and guess what? Yes, doesn't work too well, does it? Uh, strip the paint off. Actually, that bit was left off intentionally with a strip of tape just to see how it was filling. There's one on the diagonals, one where it'll be filled, one where it'll exit. That's some emergency overflows. The bell system for it's underneath there stand up on here there's the shroud over there and that's where the siphon's going to go so I chopped up the other IBC differently I cut it as you can see on this one um, there's the tap I cut it down there and on the other side that way we didn't have to worry about any leaky taps or um, caps at the top so and also, too, the other benefit of cutting it this way, I, f I think, is you've got the extra reinforcement on the base. Because yesterday, as a bit of an experiment, Bianca and I decided to fill up this one with the excess rocks from here. And <laughs> it was definitely an experiment. And we got it to... had to bail out the water from underneath. Uh, we got it to... Um, fill all the way up to the top and run a couple of uh, go through with the bell siphon it worked fine um, not with a pump of course just with the garden hose on about a half pressure trying to mimic the flow from the pump um, fantastic worked fine except the bowing with the rocks was unbelievable uh, even though we've got the extra support bars underneath there uh, we think the rock is not the way to go with the IBC like that like this with the cage, not a problem. Um, as I showed you just before, so extra support. 
these two here that I cut up will sit on a frame across here and we'll probably have rock in them primarily and maybe some um, hydrogen or clay balls on top. This one here will just be set up with hydrogen. I'll bite the bullet and buy six or seven bags and throw it in there. So, yes.